Okay, uh, another quick one for you. Um, I'm doing a bit of um, biogas production, or I'm testing what you can do with biogas. Um, that's basically what we're talking about is anaerobic digestion of, of organic products um, into methane. Uh, it's used a lot out in Africa. Um, there's a lot of guys in this country who are starting to do a bit with it as well. Um, and um, I thought I'd give it a small scale test just to see, because obviously if you can prove it on the small scale, you know it will work on a large scale. Okay, so what are you looking at here? We've got a pressure barrel, which in this case is just a wine making barrel. We've got a little Schrader valve here, which is basically a, um, a bolt-in Schrader valve I've bought off eBay for two quid. Uh, I've taken the guts out. We've got a little bit of tube, and then we've got an inner tube that I have taken the Schrader valve guts out of again. Okay, so why have I done it like this? The gas will, obviously what you put in here is you put two thirds of um, organic product and then you put uh, one third of water. Um, so you end up full, obviously you don't want any air in there really. By the way, there is a disadvantage to filling it too full, it puts water in there which is annoying. But anyway, um, so but the idea is this will then bubble away, push the gas up here into the inner tube, jobs are good. Un. Now, why an inner tube? The thing about an inner tube is it's designed to hold pressure and what you can do is you can then, when you're finished, when you fill this inner tube, you can whip this off, put a cap on it and store your inner tube. You can do this larger, you can do it with tractor inner tubes, things like that. But the other thing as well is that when you've got your inner tube full and you want to use your gas, you can lay your inner tube down like that on the floor. You can put a plank across it. So it's like that. You put a plank across it and then you can put weights on it. So what you can do then is you can actually regulate the pressure that you're sending your gas out. So you can use the inner tube as a storage vessel and also as a pressure adjuster. Okay, what do they use this for? They tend to use this for, um, well, all I've seen out in the African things, not that I've been to Africa, but on YouTube. Um, all I've seen is I have seen um, mostly for cooking. I wouldn't advise sending this through some form of other gas appliance because um, you might do yourself no favours. Um, so it's mainly for cooking or, or, or burning for light. Um, okay, um, what's the um, what's the kind of um, well, yeah the disadvantages or, or the, the the pitfalls here? They don't like to be cold. This um, the barrel itself. If your if your um, products in here are too cold, it will not um, produce gas. It will not ferment. It likes to be warm. Too warm, you kill the bacteria. So it wants to be below you know, silly temperature. So it wants to be around body temperature, ideally, pretty much like to get it going with wine. Um, the other thing is that you really, quite often, I mean, um, this isn't grass clippings, but imagine if you were using grass clippings, there's not really much in there to start off the, the, you know, the reaction. Um, a tip, um, a product of cow, um, so a cow pat will um, really get this going because I think that's because um, cows already produce methane so they've probably got the bacteria to start this off really well. Um, so, but it seems to work. Uh, I mean, in terms of the gas production, um, let's have a little look. This is the second time I've done this video and the first time um, I actually didn't manage to get the flame in the picture and I'm sure that's all we're really watching for. So, um, if I can get this to sit up, I can't now, I don't know why. Um, okay, hang on. All right, we'll do it like this. For those of you who are wondering why my professionalism still hasn't improved even after two years of doing this, um, you probably don't know me very well and I am um, I'm not very good at getting things done nicely. Oh for God's sake. Right, there we are. Okay, a bit embarrassing that, but I'm not gonna cut it because yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at what kind of gas we've got coming out of here. Um, so I'm gonna light it with a blow lamp. There we are. So Look at that little beauty. That is nice, it's clean burning, and it is just a wonderful flame to be, a wonderful gas to be working with. Look at that. So you really do end up with, and I hope that has actually caught on camera, you really do end up with a decent product from nothing. Um, I can kind of see why um, 
And you're going to see why they, they do this, because really all you need is a barrel um, and an inner tube. Um, so for those of you who are looking at, you know, off-grid or small-scale projects, um, this is pretty cool. Proof of concepts there. It works, it's simple, it's easy. There's nothing really to go wrong apart from um, the cost, the um, apart from the temperature. Um, it will get going, um, you know. It, it will get going uh, even if it's, um, you know, if, if you don't add anything to it. But it will get going, but it's slow. Temperature's crucial. Um, I mean, I've seen a load of guys in terms of what they put in here. Grass clippings works. Uh, horse manure works. Um, you know, any form of anything that you put on the compost that works. Pretty much anything that you would eat or could eat or an animal could eat seems to work. Um, in there is horse manure, um, just because i got loads of it. Um, so yeah, there we are. Yes, another proof of concept, and I hope I don't live to regret putting this video up. There we are. Have a good day.